So cold calling gets a bad rap nowadays, right? Everyone's gotten those spam calls where someone picks up the phone and it's a robot saying, hey, just wanted to call you about your car's extended warranty. That's not cold calling. Cold calling is and always will be the fastest and most effective way to conduct business because you're able to reach out to the people you want to do business with, have an actual honest conversation, be able to understand the person, listen to that person, qualify that person, and ultimately help themselves or help their business. So in this video, you're gonna be watching me cold call people live on the phones. So you can actually see how it's done. Now in my 12 years of sales experience, I've probably made upwards of 500,000 cold calls in my life. This is going to be exactly how I do it. Now, disclaimer, I do run a sales training and coaching program where we teach people the art of cold calling, how to cold call effectively, and we also help them gain jobs with businesses looking for salespeople, right? So I'm a firm believer that you can't teach anyone anything that you can't do. So in this video, I'm gonna go through how I cold call, my energy, my tonality, the kind of the, my body language, right? A lot of people think that cold calling has to be this big, scary, fearful thing, right? A lot of people have hesitancy and I get it. When I first started cold calling, I was terrified of the phones. Whenever someone picked up, I heard that click, I would hang up. Literally, I was so scared of cold calling. So if this is your first time listening to cold calling, you're just starting to get into cold calling, watch this video because this is tens to hundreds of thousands of reps. And this is exactly how I can teach you how to get into cold calling. So I'm rambling here. So let's get into the video. Juan and Kieran, what's going on? Hey guys, how are you doing? All right, cool. So this lady literally opted in three minutes ago. A little unqualified. We'll do it anyway. Y'all can just mute yourselves. Hello. This is Dylan, Automated Revenue. How you doing? I'm good. Yeah, you. Um, I don't think we had a call schedule. I just saw you submitted your information, um, possibly about hiring an appointment center. I just figured I'd just reach out, learn more about, you know, what got you interested. Yeah, right now is not a good time. I'm on another call for a meeting, but um, if you want to try back tomorrow around this time, that'd be fine. Yeah, I'll shoot you over an invite for Eastern tomorrow. All right, thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Michelle. Talk soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. All right, well, that was a pretty simple uh, book in there, boys. <laughs> Cool. On to the next one, boys. It came from YouTube. John Paul. All right, he's being texted. Frank Newbill. YouTube. Remarketing. <laughs> Yes, this is GHL. All right, five to 10K a month, Facebook. Dead number, international number. Your 
Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. All right, Tim, let's hope that you bring good luck in this. Looks like a legit one if we can get Tim on the phone. International. YouTube. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach. These people are making for a boring Zoom meeting here, guys. Apologies. So this is a good thing since you guys are on here. If you guys are doing outbound dials and you see like the number is not delivering a text, really good software to have, it's super cheap, clear out phone. So essentially what I'd do here is I would just take in their number, copy this, do a quick validator, and it is a fixed line, so not a cell phone. So this will be most likely a secretary or like this guy's home phone, probably over the age of 50 if he puts his home phone in here. Pretty savage move to opt into something and give someone else's number. Hello. Yeah. Hello. It's Dylan, Automated Revenue. How you doing? Good. Man. Good. I don't have time to talk to you right now. No worries. When are you free? You there, Bob? There you go, classic. See, boys, it happens to the best of us. Sheesh. Oh, is this? 
this? This is Dylan, Automated Revenue. We were texting back and forth a day or so ago. You might be interested in an appointment setter. Yeah, I'm trying to remember that. Um, do we have an appointment right now? Um, no, no, no. I was just doing my due diligence. I know we texted a couple of times. Um, figured I'd give you a ring. Um, save you the back and forth. Sure. Let's set an appointment up. Yeah. Um, let me pull up my calendar. You got your calendar pulled up? Yeah, I do. I'm good. Next, uh, next Tuesday afternoon at between 2 and 4. All right. That's the 16th, right? Mm-hmm. Awesome. How's 3 Eastern work for you? Yeah, you want to send over an, um, an invitation? Yes, sir. I will send that over to you. What's uh, what's the best lo- last name for? Awesome, cool. I'll yeah, send that over to you. Now. Our YouTube video, you'll see what kind of things we do. Um, our YouTube page is probably the best best yeah. location. Do a little homework. If you want to do any homework to own your company as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what's the YouTube channel? Look it up. Yeah, we don't. Have, I don't have the time right now to. Yeah, yeah. I was just it. pulling it up. Everybody like the information, right? Yes, sir. I'll send everything over to you. Or if you send me over the information on your company, that would be great. Um, we'll do, we do our research um, pretty pretty diligently as well, and look forward to uh, speaking with you and getting the invitation for the 16th. Sounds great. So I'll give a good rest of your day. You too. Thanks. Bye-bye. There we go, boys. So just a quick question. So about the first call, I think it was Yeah. So what the do if you sent over an invite? Are you pretty confident showing up to that meeting? I'm going to tell the closer that he's going to call her, not a Zoom. So that'd be another kind of like yeah. discovery and booking for an appointment. Yeah, I mean, the more you can put something permanent on the calendar, the better the chances are that you're going to have that next conversation than just putting a task for four o'clock. Also, if she yeah. accepts it, you could also email her, be like, "Hey, I know we talked on the phone. You know, are you cool with doing a Zoom call?" Okay, and then from there, you could potentially close her there. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Sweet. All right, Carolyn National might need some help on their website. Might need a lot of help on their website. Got different text sizes on this. It's a wild website. What's Apollo say? 18 employees in North Carolina. He's the president of the company. Sweet. Cool. He got booked in there. Oh, yeah. All right. Awesome. Damn it. I refreshed it. Fucked myself up. All right. Let's hope my memory serves. Who was the last person that we called? Jason Kerr. That'd be Dawson. Yeah, but he's out, he's out of that list now that he's booked. All right, you haven't called. Let's see what this looks like. Remote MIT, managed services provider. Where they got 10 employees in Florida. Let's call. Yep, it's Martin. Is not available. Google voice number. Don't know who the fuck that is. Didn't submit any information. She is a YouTuber. Hey, how's it going, brother? This is Dylan, Automated Revenue. We were texting back and forth a day or so ago about hiring an appointment setter, possibly. Yeah, uh, right now we're still less than 5 p.m. on so so I, I don't want to waste your guys' time. Got it, got it, got it. Um, what had you interested in the first place? Is it you guys going to be starting to do cold calls, or what kind of sparked yeah, the interest? Yeah, so me and, me and my partner are just running cold calls right now. I saw you guys on Twitter, so I'm nice. interested how your process is doing. Awesome. Um, how many, where are you getting the contacts? Like how deep into the process are you? So honestly, we mostly just pull it up on Google Maps. So like if we target law firms, we just, you know, uh, lawyers in Ohio, you know. And just Got it. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Do you have like a script written out or are you kind of just going to be doing it? Yeah, we have a full, yeah, we're using a script. Um, yeah. Got it. Because uh, one thing that we do, like you said, you're kind of at the 5K mark, you probably wouldn't be able to you know hire a full-time salesperson just yet um but for the clients kind of in your same position you're just you know kind of uh building the foundation for an outbound sales process is we do a lot of business coaching and consulting as well as we have like a 
pretty vast asset library. So like all of your KPIs, your trackers, how to set up your CRM, getting a dialer, and we do three weekly coaching calls for consulting. So you guys could like send us call recordings, we could review calls and really help set up that process. The idea of this is after two, three months, you're ready to hire the salesperson and it kind of is all included in the price. So our normal placement fee is 7,500. The coaching and consulting is 2,500. So then when you're ready to hire someone, it would just be 5K. So you're paying the same amount at the end of the day. We're just changing the way the, the deliverables are given to you, given where you're at as a business. Yeah. And is that 7,500 or the 5K? Is that a one-time payment? And then after that, is this purely commissioned for the sales rep? Correct. Yeah. It's a one-time placement fee. We're, we're training and coaching all the sales guys in-house. Um, they go through our coaching program. And the cool thing is, is like, let's say hypothetically, right? You hire a guy a few months down the line, we're still helping coach and train them as they're an employee of your business. So we're helping them grow even as they're an employee. Of I see. Perfect. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, I just wanted to be fully transparent with you yeah. about that, but I, I was definitely interested in hiring, especially for America. Yeah. Uh, more reps. So I'll definitely reach out to you guys. Uh, once we scale a bit more. Absolutely, man. Um, if I was going to put a task in our CRM, you know, do my due diligence, when would be a good time to follow up without being a pest? Uh, I would say exactly about maybe two months from now, if that works. All right, awesome. And then... And if anything comes up earlier, I'll reach out earlier. Okay. Yeah, and I'll send you a follow-up email kind of outlining what I just talked about. I think that could be super valuable for like where you guys are at yeah. today um, to set you up for success in the next, you know, two, three months. So... I'll send over a follow-up outlining that, and then I'll put a task if I don't hear back to follow up in like March. Awesome, thanks buddy, I appreciate it. All right, awesome dude, good luck on the phones. Thank you buddy, have a good day. Thanks, you too, bye-bye. Good, not great, didn't get the booking, but got the phone call in there. Hello. Oh, is this Hey, it's Dylan, Automated Revenue. Um, I was just following up. You, you submitted your information a few days ago about hiring an appointment setter, possibly. You got like 10, 15 seconds to chat? Oh, no, no, I don't actually. I'm working right now. No worries. So am I. When is a better time to reach out? Uh, I'll message you. I don't know. Not sure. Is it cool if I shoot you a text? We can chat there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can send text. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Best of luck. We'll chat soon. What did you say? I said, uh, so am I is pretty dope. <laughs> dude, you got to have fun when you're making yeah. calls. Dude. You got to make it fun. I'll say wild shit on, on calls. Obviously nothing like, you know, off the cusp, but it gives off just a energy of just like you're having fun doing this, right? Right. You're not like a robot. Yeah, you're not a robot. Exactly. So let's follow this guy. How often do you uh, do this? We had a setter. He became a dad and we're training a new one. So these are leads that have been just been not touched and we're not following our own <laughs> rules of thumb. Um, so these guys are long overdue for calls. So I like to do this, you know, it gives me good feedback because these are all people coming in in our ads. So any feedback I can get from these people will help us create better ads, spend better. So I do this every two weeks, regardless if we have people calling this, uh, but yeah. And I usually record this stuff on YouTube too for content. So yeah, I saw those videos. Those are pretty nice. I like them. And it just shows everyone like, oh, this guy's actually doing what the fuck he says he's gonna. I do. I think that's the biggest thing is too, like watching the coach play in a way. Yeah. More yeah. And the biggest thing here, for the most part, is making sure you update the fucking CRM, right? So I'll even add notes right. here. All right. Let's see what you got. You think this guy's yoked out of his mind? Fitness and life coach. Forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Two. Definitely a DQ off of 
his, uh, his Instagram. Hey, man, I respect the hustle. You do got to respect the hustle, you know? You definitely do got to respect the hustle. I got to send... I posted this on Twitter that I was making some live dials, so I got to send the Zoom link to people coming in. Don't think he's going to be a place where you guys want to work at. What do you got first, Christine? Gmail. You don't get any info. Hi, I was looking to speak with Christine. I'm assuming that's not you. Uh, yes, this is not her number. Okay. Yeah, she filled out some information about getting an appointment set. Or do you work with her? No, she's like this is not like I've been getting calls for Christine for like ten years. Oh no. So I don't know if this is the bogus number she gives out. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I'd actually love to get a hold of her and say, why do you keep putting my phone number down? Yeah, I would too. Do I'll get a call to? So do. You, do you have any way of getting a hold of her through email or? Um, <laughs> I have her email. We've emailed her, um, but she did put down the 8612 number. I'll delete that out of our system so we don't, you know, call you <laughs> or buggy anymore. Yeah, well, can can you email her back and just, I, I know this is, I'm just trying to think about how I can email her and tell her to stop giving the wrong number unless she's like, it's a dementia issue, which it isn't. I'm being choking a little bit, but like I'd love to be able to tell her to stop using my number. Yeah, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely feel free there. I'll text you her email if you want to uh, email her. Um, yeah, yeah, go for it because for ten years that's pretty egregious. Um, yeah, but like I said, I will uh, opt you out of the list um, so we don't bother you, brother. Apologies. All right. Okay, thanks, no problem. Of course, you have a good one, dude. Okay, you too. Bye. Bye. That's wild. 10 years, imagine that, dude. Getting calls for 10 years. <laughs> I get Bruce. People put your number in as Bruce? Yeah, I don't know. Like, once in a while, I'll be like, Bruce. Where is this guy? this close deal there we go that'd be a good landing spot for one of you guys really good company let's get this one tag is who was the last person we called <laughs> Has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. <laughs> so we just we just closed the deal. <laughs> and I sent the contract to him like a day ago, and uh, he goes, "Was gonna pay this next week, but just had an interview with a sales rep, eighty years old, on her phone in the car, interviewing me about a job. If she is interested, hard passed. I need professionals. Let's do this." <laughs> Funny. It's super funny. Let me get back to this guy. Hold on. You, you hired a sales rep. Wait, they hire, they're going to hire an eight-year-old sales rep? No. So he's been interviewing sales reps to see if he could do it on his own instead of go through us. And he's been not having a great time. So he goes, fuck it. Let's work together. I need some SGR Whisperer students. And what? How long has he been doing that for? A couple of weeks. This is a weird question. Yes, you sir. You might know it. I called a prospect. Yeah. And I have an answer already updated and so even this morning this prospect said uh didn't receive a call and then now my prospect saying i didn't receive a call they didn't receive a call either is this something on my end or is this probably just some shit on their end maybe i'm just not lucky today so they're saying they didn't get the call that you made to them or i'm not if i'm not tracking yeah it. and like two, two of them i'm messaging on ig actually oh so the setter hasn't called them 
we had a meeting. I booked them on my calendar to get an intro call in. Oh, oh they don't see the calendar invite. Is that what you're saying? No, no. I, I just had them booked on my calendar. Yeah. But, and they already get information everything. And then mm -hmm. I'm supposed to reach out to them. I'm supposed to call them. And when I called them, they said I didn't receive a call. And both prospects have been through IG, actually. But you called them. They didn't just didn't receive your... Maybe it's D&D. &D. I would just give them your number. Personal one, eh? Yeah, like, hey, give me a call. I'm having issues with Verizon or whatever the fuck you want to say. There you go, boys. Just close the STR Whisperer student in here. Well, I'm prospects calling. BRB or I'm good at guys. See you, brother. It was closing deals, huh? Booking calls. This is a good Zoom here, guys. All right, let's see if. Who's a whisperer? Why is he in this funnel? Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. Yeah, I bet you aren't available. Another fake number. These people are bugging, putting in random people's phone numbers today. <laughs> Joys of cold calling. What are these names today, guys? And you know it's his actual name because it's in his Gmail. Voicemail. The names just don't stop international. <laughs> All right. Hello? Hello? Yeah, is this? Yeah, this me. Hey, how's it going, dude? It's Dylan, Automated Revenue. I was just following up. I saw you. Put your information in on New Year's Eve about getting an appointment setter. Just following up. Oh no, I'm actually not looking for it anymore. Got it. Did you hire someone? Yeah. Nice. Where'd you find them? I just put it up on uh, LinkedIn. Very cool. Very cool. Did they start yet? Yeah, they're starting tomorrow actually. Oh, nice. Are they? Uh, have they been doing appointment setting before? Or is this kind of like their first time doing it? No, no, no. They've been doing it before. Awesome, dude. Well, uh, best of luck. I um, hope everything works out. hope you guys book a bunch of meetings, close a bunch of deals. Um, if you were interested, we do train setters, right? So obviously, we play setters, but we also train them. Um, so if you wanted to enroll your current setter into our coaching and training. Work a little bit what you guys do. Yeah, so we have a program called the SDR Whisperer, which is where we essentially train all of the setters that we would have placed, right? If you weren't able to find someone and we work together. Um, but from your perspective of now, you'd be able to enroll um, the setter that's starting tomorrow into the program. They go through 71 course modules. We do assessments, written and verbal assessments. Um, and we have four weekly coaching calls. So essentially, they'd be able to do role plays on Mondays. We do a sales mindset call. They could submit their calls for call coaching and call feedback. 
um, and it's lifetime access. So essentially we would license it to you, the business, and then you would enroll your setter. We coach and train them on it. Do you guys train custom setters for what type of business usually? Yeah, um, so it's really B2B for the most part. Um, what's your offer? Got it. Like for like individual homes or like office buildings? Yeah, mostly residential. Okay. Is it like door knocking or is it cold calling or? I mean, I do do myself and uh, I have uh, one more salesperson that does uh, door knocking. Okay. And now we have an appointment Saturday reaching out to like property managers as well uh, to maybe get deals with a. Uh, uh, like uh, an apartment complex or something like this. Got it. So like larger ticket sizes, more B two B. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean that'd be that'd be pretty perfect for what we do. Um. So we're training them on how to do cold calls, you, cold emails. You don't do. You don't do B two B two B. We do. Um. It's just the coaching is really B two B focused. We do have people who do solar. We have people who do door knocking, car sales, insurance sales. Um, I use B2B, but it's really just overarching sales frameworks on, you know, how to actually prospect, how to start the call, how to continue the call, how to ask good probing questions. Okay. If, I want, if I were to hire uh, another appointment setter, how yeah. would that work with you guys? Yeah, absolutely. So like I said, you'd be interviewing with all of our graduates. So once the individual passes the SGR Whisperer, they're certified through our program, we would set up interviews with you. We'd be able to interview all of our uh, graduates. You hire that person. And you know, most of the time it's commission, um, sometimes base plus commission. Everyone's US based, 20 to 27 years old, young and hungry. We just charge a one-time placement fee. Um, for that rep, so we don't take any commissions or revenue or anything like that. It's just a one-time placement fee. And the placement fee is it fixed? Is it based on uh, based on something, some numbers? Um, no, no. It's just a one-time placement fee. So if you're selling a five hundred dollar product, if you're selling a fifty thousand dollar product, it's the same fee. It's seventy five hundred dollars one time, and then there's a forty five day guarantee on the back end. Um, we also help with like setting up your script, setting up your CRM, your automations, and we do like business coaching as well um, for you to like actually build an outbound sales team process. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So the, yeah, that's uh, the to be perfectly honest. The price is a little bit steep for for us right now. Yeah. So totally get it. And we started about I want to say three months ago. So. Nice. It would be a little bit steep yeah, totally get that. Um, what I can do is I can send you a follow up email with what the placement looks like. And if you wanted to enroll your setter in the program, it's just a one time fee of fourteen ninety seven, And then they would get all the coaching, the training, um, the assessments on a weekly, a daily basis. Yeah, honestly, man, as of right now, that's not something uh, I'm interested in. Cool. No worries, so I dude. appreciate you coming. Yeah, of course. Best of luck scaling the business. And, uh, you know, hopefully you get to come back when you guys are crushing it and we get to help build your sales team out. Amazing. Thank you so much. Man. Of Have course. Good. Have a good one. Bye-bye. And we continue. It's probably the last one here, boys. Got a call in a couple minutes. Um, leave a text with who? We also have automated texts that go out, Grayson, like a couple of days out. All right, so this is when our setter was in here. This savage, look at him, 11.22. Purpose over pleasure. Okay. Oh, 
has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach. All right, come on, let's get one more before I gotta jump. Been forwarded to an automated tragic boys all right there was a solid hour of dials we got in how many dials i just make so could you uh dm me the window the, up to the recording yeah we did how many calls did we just make we have 48 calls not bad had a couple of good conversations booked two meetings closed two deals while on the phone so pretty good hour in the business appreciate you guys hopping on here shoot me a twitter dm just so i remember and uh i'll get you the recording over to you once it's processed i appreciate it man. of course appreciate you boys i appreciate that that was actually pretty badass there you go see you guys